In 1668, Silent sailed from Spain and invaded the shores of Guam. The Spanish hushed the Chamorro culture with rifles, and the sound of extinction was deafening. They justified genocide with Bibles, burnt down huts, destroyed villages, and called it Catholicism. They forced us to our knees to praise the foreign god as if chanting to our ancestors was anything less than spiritual. The Spanish brought disease, soldiers, and missionaries to our island. Colonization was their mission. Silence was an order in fighting back men as clinging to our culture. They stripped us of our true identity and banned our language. Snatching our native tongues out of our mouths and forcing the Spanish down our throats until we choked on the clumsy syllable. Our language was unrecognizable. Converting Hatsa, Huwa, Tulu, Unu, Dos, Tres. Colonizing us was carried out in three simple steps. One, destroy the native language so the savages couldn't communicate. Two, confiscate land in the name of God while resistors were executed. Three, intermarry, rape, and procreate until indigenous bloodlines were diluted. But they did not realize we were warriors. Standing six feet tall, strapped with natural body armor, and with a chest so wide. One moral chief excelled the breath of his entire village. Chiseled abs cut so deep they reached their spines. Make no mistake, our bloodlines have backbone weaved into a double helix. Machinery. Machinery and technology were irrelevant because with hands like the sea simultaneously gentle and deadly, we fed our people by harvesting the ocean sustainably. What was once a beach and provided all the necessities became a port for Spanish military. We conned unnecessary currents with tactics that were as unpredictable as an undertow. Because we were able to see genocide glide with a tide where the high and low it just goes to show that our people stay true to themselves. With hearts like the coral reef, we set a barrier on the way of life. We were and still are one of the oldest civilizations in the Pacific, Itautautanu, the people of the land. The indigenous are being swept out to sea like a plea in a bottle. From our shores to yours, we carry this message across 5,803 miles of deep blue. Because although we speak true, this attempt to teach you may get lost in migration. Not by choice, but by force, and of course, we won many battles for mortal wounds. Let immortal scars on our true identity. Remind us that our history is a remedy to break free from this tyranny. It is the foundation of strength we have to keep the Chamorro culture living and breathing. For too long we have watched the past form storm clouds over us, raining silence as a new king. But we were never given a chance to sit on that throne. We sit on the land that we rightfully own, and once again, our voices red, white, and blew away when Americans stormed our beaches. We were rich in heritage, but treated like peasants. In a capitalist system, cash rules everything around me. Cream get the money. Native language kill, y'all. Over the strength we inherit from our ancestors, we will engage in this war to preserve our past. Using our vocal cords as slings and our vocal tones as stones, they are thrown. Not meant to break bones, but to break the silence of our people. To all of you, this is just a poem. But to us, it's a chance to bring justice to our home. So, so we carry this message in our hearts to a nation that still considers us second-class citizens, even though we enlist more soldiers per capita to fight.